Welcome back, folks, to Let's... F oh. But welcome back, folks, to Let's Fight on a Spaceship. Um, yeah, nothing happened dialogue-wise after I finished that battle with the weird red background. Or the weather flying over the sky, I guess. Um, and I did another battle with Mahoshi and the wacky crew of people who can only move one spot at a time. And now we're back to this group, and these are enemies we've never seen before, so I thought I would record this, give you a chance to check out what these guys are all about. Uh, I guess I'll save in case I screw up and get killed, or, you know, Shitsuki gets killed. Not much chance of anyone else getting killed. Uh, but Shitsuki, as you can see, is at level 5, because once again, I carefully planned my fight so that nobody was getting any kills except Shitsuki. What the heck are these things? These are Maimus. They have strength of 11 and defense of something else. That is an 11. Oh, I wasn't really paying attention. She has got really high defense now, so she's... Yeah, she might not be the best at killing things, necessarily, but um, I think her defense is like higher than other characters. And she has the sacred kick dance. She's an abobo. That's an inside joke. If you're not Boba the Vulture, you're not really meant to get that, so don't worry about it. What are your stats again? Oh, your defense is 62, so... It's 23 and 60, so let's see if when it says her agility went up, it really means her defense went up. Otherwise, we've got an invisible statistics and agility. Looks like we've got an invisible statistic and agility, because, uh... Raising somebody's defense who has a defense of 60 up to 63 wouldn't be much. I didn't mean to go back. I meant to go with that. Uh, now I do mean to go back because I didn't mean to go with that. Marvel as JG has no ability to control the controls of a simple RPG. 23 and 60. Let's see her get powered up to... 35 and 60, haha. <laughs> and Aiko is really just not going to do much of anything in this fight. She's just kind of chilling. Chilling like a villain. Which I believe she actually is in one of the spin off series. Oh, that's a weird and kind of interesting attack. What the heck? Okay, if she ever wants to do her sacred kick dance attack again, I gotta start saving up crystals. So let's see if she can kill one of these guys with just her regular attacks. That would be pretty nice, and she can. Alright. Oh, with a lot to spare. She's actually a really good character if you can get her up past level 1, which of course I have. Meh, she could heal everybody, but we're not in any trouble, really. We are in space and we're getting killed by weird little puppet creatures. Do, do, do. So far, she has no, uh, cool moves that hurt more than one person. And once again, I want to save up for the kick dance, because I believe that might be necessary to beat this blue freak. You know, you're right next to her. You don't need to do such an involved headbutt if you really want a headbutt. Would you like to butt heads with the Princess Ayaka folks? Is that what you're into? I, I won't judge. Hey! I mean, she looks really cross-eyed and weird. Tsunami, I mean. Which is the chick who's floating around above Sasami's head. This takes forever. I don't want your damn blessing tsunami. Get away from me. What I 
YouTube. Whatever that means, folks. Yeah. Enter. Do 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 to end your turn. Do 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 to end your turn. Do 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 do. I know these guys are real threatening, but um, it's possible that the blue chick can hurt Shitsuki, so let's take her out. Oh, almost, but not quite. I'm gonna headbutt you so bad, Washu. It's like a spinning headbutt. Diving spinning headbutt attack. That would be way over involved wrestling offense. Something that you might do if you were, you know, not dead Chris Benoit. A diving spinning headbutt. I heard the great Suzuki was tying with the idea, toying with the idea of developing a diving spinning headbutt, but ultimately decided it would be too silly looking. And if you've seen the great Suzuki, that would be something. Something that's too silly looking for the great Suzuki to consider. Oh yay, more wimpy red versions. Shitsuki could really, for leveling purposes, use an attack that kills many enemies at once. Does her attack need to be powered back up again? I think that's as high as it was going to go. So we'll just stand around and wait for you to finish the battle, shall we, Shitsuki? I'd appreciate it, thanks. Now normally when anything even resembling a young girl shows up, it becomes Sasami's best friend for at least an episode. But, um, she seems to just not like Shitsuki. Might have something to do with the whole kidnapping thing. But there's been no special dialogue between the two of them to indicate that Sasami wants anything to do with, um, well, her murderous kidnapper. Whom suddenly everybody's really happy and friendly with. So, land the smack now on your crippled ass. NWO star, brother. Wow, that was like 144 da That would have killed uh, the blue thing. Assuming that they have the exact same defense, which I don't know that they do. Because, you know, you are a far more powerful elven warrior thing if you are wearing a blue outfit. That's just... It's a given. Everybody knows that. But if you are an elven warrior and you wear a red outfit, the red outfit will drain away your strength and power and prevent you from doing... Diving spinning headbutts. In which your head dives off of your body. <sighs> this game's a little weird. And that makes me yawn. You can call me Tsunami. You can call me Tsunami, or you can call me Sasami. You can call me Ray, or you can call me Jay. That's, uh, sorry, I'm flashing back to an actual episode of the show. It's just not even that useful when she puts on her poncho. Not really that useful when she doesn't put on her poncho. Sorry, Princess Sega. Doesn't matter if you're my favorite character or not, you are kind of useless in this game. At this point, adjustment of the computer here. Critical hit terminated. Level up time? Yeah. Private eyes are watching you. They see you. JG subscribers are watching you. Good thing there are so few. Alright. Zap. Get 
Ninja, my Jinbu. I want to see what Washu's ultimate attack is, but I do want Shitsuki to get all the kills, so I might do a little more save state cheating here. Shitsuki's certainly strong enough to hold around now that she's level 6, but um, to get all of your characters to the maximum level except one and then to quit when you're as close as we are now would be kind of silly. Ooh, Washu party! <laughs> Okay, this sounds kind of dirty. Let's see what's going on with this. Party. What's your party? Party. What's your party? There was a board game for sale a couple years ago called uh, Super Prayer. I wonder what that does. Super Friends. A board game for sale years ago called... Um, Wow, that's adorable. Pizza party. And the theme song was like, party, pizza party. But there are also other words. I just don't happen to remember what any of those were. The washu party is a pretty damn good attack. It raises everybody's attack. Unless it didn't do that at all, and I was completely misread that. I'm sort of preoccupied by the concept of party. Washu party. It's like the ultimate party attack. Shitsuki's dance. Let's check this out. Hey, it's like the beginning scene. The pre credit sequence where she's done dancing around in the background, and I was like, back in video one, I was like, who the heck is that? <laughs> okay, well, here's another battle you don't particularly... Oh, God, if they start running away from the characters who can only move one hex at a time, this is going to be an eternal video. But uh, we've gone over 10 minutes anyway, so I'll probably just take care of this off camera. When we come back, folks, uh, it'll be Shitsuki's party again. Uh, so, whoop-dee.